Yeah, how about, how about now-ish as we get ready for some of these trades to come through? Uh, thanks, Neil. We are very excited for this today. Thank you for everybody joining us. We will do a roll call coming up very, very soon. So thank you so much to everybody. We're here and we're ready to go. I still have to log in uh, to my platform, but that's all good. All right, we do have coming through today. Uh, we are sponsored by Benzinga. So anything that comes out soon, we'll have that uh, right now. We do have it in our ear. So getting ready to rock and roll. Exxon. No, that's uh, someone saying Exxon in my ear. That's not right. A-X-O-N, Axelon, I guess. Okay, so we're going to look for first solar here to come out. Very, very soon we're going to adjust this over to a one minute. There it is, first solar. Nice move to the upside. When we get all this stuff, we will uh, make sure we broadcast it to you. Bitcoin having itself another day uh, today. Huge move to the upside there. I'm going to take this out of my ear. We don't need it. Uh, Bitcoin up five today. UNG battling back. But I mean, this name just continues to be pretty beat up there. We had XR yesterday we had Michael Noss on and we were talking about the healthcare sector and biotech look at XBI today nice five and a half percent move to the upside we just talked about this yesterday on the market recap show as XBI look at what we see here we talked about XLV we gave that to you on the podcast last uh at the beginning of the year, sorry, this is the XBI right here, taking out some of these levels, 94, looking at the 200, and now a lot of upside. Here's XLV, the call on this one was 136, right there, this break into there, nice move higher, 140, 146 for some of these healthcare names. We did get a move down though, a big move down in UNH, so this could be a buying opportunity for some of those healthcare names, right? So as it pulls back down in, definitely have a quick look at that. If you're looking for the Dow Jones names, obviously UNH, I really like the diamonds. Look at this push for D DIA, huge upside move right there. And again, thank you to everybody. I'll keep this up. If anything is going on, oh yeah, AXON, that is right. They are that body camera company. So nice move to the upside there, 280. AXON, look at these guys on the weekly. That's what I heard in my ear. Axon, not Exxon. Nice move to the upside right there for all of that. Big movers today, including um, CEG, Constellation Energy, uh, with that deal there going through. Nice little move upside on Constellation's earnings. Uh, full year forecast guide higher between 723 and eight bucks versus six. So CEG, huge move up right there today, breaking through on the weekly. We'll go over to a daily chart to check out CEG. Boom, there it goes. Huge move for them today on the one minute chart, finishing at the day's high, so we really like that. What was red today? Okay, TLT. Look, the NASDAQ was just one of those days today, kind of flat. It's Hydration Nation. Get locked and loaded with me here. What now, Ramin? Uh, okay, uh, 437 coming through, 437 in change right there on the queues. We'll see if it can wind up holding to that one. Still waiting for some earnings to come out. We do have trade ideas here. So here's the platform. Oh, lemonade, lemonade. Your tasty, refreshing drink, lemonade. Uh, making some moves around now as well, as we've talked a little bit about that. I didn't see them. Did they already report maybe yesterday? Uh, but a nice move up there today on lemonade. No, post-market Feb 27. So I don't have the report yet for LMND. And again, we will continue to watch out for Benzinga uh, here. Oh, Kupang. Okay. I remember Kupang, a little Chinese or is it maybe Korean CPNG here uh, for a nice move? Wow, Kupang, nice upside move there. Let's go find out what's up with that uh, on Kupang. So again, eight cents beating six, 660 beat, or six, 660 beating 644. Nice one right there. Mankind, I remember those guys there. I think that was Cancer at one point there. Uh, beats as well, MNKD. I think it's a little penny stock to go right now. So we'll, we'll stay here again. Thank you so much for joining everybody that's with us here today. Over 3,500. I want to thank everybody uh, for watching. Make sure you hit the like and the subscribe. And thank you for tuning in with us. We do have... Obi coming out soon uh, for us. He'll be going over some names he's looking at, what's been working for him lately, uh, and some different ideas. We welcome Obi to the big show coming up very, very soon. Um, a name that's been in a little bit of trouble, Uranium. Nice pullback in again. This could be bought down here again, alternative energy. Lith lithium, L-I-T, another good one here. I was saying I wasn't feeling so good. I think it's just my 
like I, I need to take just more more water right here uh, today. It's kind of oh, you know what the problem is? It's really dreary outside. It's all dark and raining and all that. So it's probably what the problem is. More water as we go. Right. More rain. More thirsty. You know what I mean? That's more. Right, that's right, Ramin, very good. Um, okay, so nice move there. OIH with oil, oil services, nice move there. And by the way, we can sit here and talk about Bitcoin all we want. I mean, Bitcoin's a nice move. We actually stamped this buy down here on the podcast. Um, I really like this breakthrough 30. So it's only up 10% from here, 3250. You can still buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at 57,000 right now and dancing around. Here's a, here's a live look on BTC. Uh, maybe let's make this a little bit of a bigger screen here and we'll look at this live on the show. So here we go, man, a one hour chart. Obviously, it's been a monster here today, right? 51,000 was that bottom back on the 26th. So we were just here not too long ago. Talk about a move into the weekend. I mean, this move happened yesterday morning as we just took off all the way to the upside. I can't really think of anything. We have having coming on. We are going to have the crypto burb coming through next week live on this show. And I'm going to be like, what's up with that? All right, first solar. Uh, and I'm going to talk to him about the having and anything like that that we want to know about uh, as far as crypto is concerned. And who better than that? I don't know. First solar right now. They are out. Um, and moving around. Um, are they out? Yeah, here it is. So Benzinga does have first solar out. I got to be careful about reporting some of this because last week with Carvana, it was like it was out, it wasn't out. There was another name that day. It might have been Roku that we were kind of like, is it out, is it not out? We had to double check the source uh, and make sure that did come out. But here's first solar right now. Uh, nice gap. So uh, the gap EPS, 325 versus 318. That's a win right there, bang. But then they miss on sales, it looks like. 116 versus 132. Actually a decent miss by first solar right there. But then they're seeing their forward look, 13 to 14 versus 1333. This seems pretty mixed for FSLR. So right now, not much happening for them. Another big name that we're looking at. Here's eBay. Let's look at this together. EPS beat 107 versus 103. That's a good one. Bang for eBay. Also sales. Oh, by the way, I was able to convince the wife. My, I was like, am I getting hungry or what? And then where does my mind go? Guess what's happening today? It's Taco Tuesday in the Katina house. So my wife, Marissa, yes, 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 more of that. My wife, Marissa, is taking uh, Gia, my daughter, to hockey again another two hours. We got to miss it. We're doing this all good. She's taking the kid. I'm preparing tacos. It's a Sean Katina special tonight. It's Taco Tuesday uh, in the household. All is welcome or all is not. Uh, I don't know how much food we have. Okay, there it is right now. EPS 119 versus 123, beating 113. I'm going to say eBay's up. Let's check it out right now together. What is eBay doing? First time, first look right now on eBay. Oh, hell yeah, they say. eBay up to 48. I feel like 50 is what we want to look at. Is there enough juice in this name to take out 50? eBay right now on the short float. eBay short float only five. Tasty treat. That is water uh, right now. Nice move up for eBay. So a nice little look there. I'm going to, when we get Obi up here, I'm going to log in. So we'll talk more about my trades and some of that stuff that we were talking about here today. Let's go over some sectors. Um, XLF, look, the financials continue to work out. We had some big news from JP Morgan. Apparently, JP Morgan and Jamie Dimon don't see that tornado or that hurricane ahead in the market as we are now above. You remember when, when Jamie Dimon was like, oh, there's some sort of a... I forget what he said. He used some kind of a weather terminology that there was like a storm brewing uh, in that market. Well, since then, man, XLF, and look at his stock, JP Morgan. Uh, nice little upside move. As I feel like this is falling down. There we go. Upside move for JP Morgan, taking out highs right now. What a good name that's been. You know what? What about Burke B? Berkshire here. Nice little pullback into 407. I was actually looking at this. We can break down what's in the diamonds, but honestly, uh, Berkshire with a nice little pullback in. I actually have uh, on trade ideas here. Oh no, did I close it? I have an ETF watch list that if I can find the diamonds on there, I'll be able to open it up and we'll be able to talk about the constituents. But that makes me think about uh, some tweets that we did have today, including some pretty decent ones. Um, one thing that I wanted to show was Neil asked me a question and I hope I tweeted this out earlier. Um, it was right here. 
So Neil asked me about this, right? What, what's up, Gunjan? I don't know when she's coming on. She can phone me on my phone and talk to me about AMC and Bed Bath and beyond. I talked to her um, on my way home one day. She wanted some quotes, and then we got to get her back on. We got to get her on the show right now. Working for Wall Street Journal. What's up, Gunjan? Uh, right there. One out of every three names in the Russell is unprofitable. So for me, Neil asked me about IWM versus the Diamonds, which is Dow Jones. I think IWM again. Look unprofitable names, you know, have upside, right? There's going to be a point where some of these names get going. You can see Zoom, things like that, making some moves back up to the upside. It's just how patient do we have to be? IWM already pushing these highs. You got to break above this 206. Look, forget about what the constituents are, honestly. It's price isn't going to lie. Here's that 205 level. We bounced our head off of that back in July. We just touched it right now back at the end of the year. This is a weekly chart, and we're doing it right now. If we get a break in the IWM to the upside, then I do feel like 229 incoming. That's 10%, and then maybe those highs. I much, much prefer, X, we've already talked about XLV. We much prefer that. And then a beat down name a little bit on the biotech, looking at Moderna, looking at some of those names. The IBB on a downside push there, looking a little bit better. But then when we look at the Dow Jones, the diamonds well off, but there's that break, right? So again, if you're taking things on breaks and on strength, then you do have some nice possibility for more upside. This is real estate, isn't it? So Again, another beatdown name as mortgage rates continue to push highs. We're looking at 7 8% here for 30-year mortgages coming out. That's going to be too expensive for anybody in real estate. You do get a nice move back up to the upside on, again, this is that bottom in October when everyone thought Fed rate cuts were going to happen in March. We already stamped that no. We had, actually, you know what? I could have had Raider Trader on. Let's get Raider Trader on next week. He called a collapse, not a collapse, but a push down in the market late January into February. We're now late February and not getting that pushback. I feel like a lot of this right here, real estate, not having the pullback that I would have thought it would have based on that rate talk. So a nice little downside mush here for real estate is what I'm expecting. Look to pick something up, honestly, $76, $77. I actually like that. The solar ETF coming through again here today as we wait for some more earnings calls. We had Splunk, SPLK, uh, coming through today as well. So I don't know if that's out. It doesn't really look like we're doing too much on Splunk. Let's just double check Benzinga to see if anything's going as we have Obi getting ready to rock and roll here, 4.15. That should be good. We'll talk to Obi in a couple minutes. Uh, so yeah, I don't see anything from Splunk yet. Rocket Labs, uh, they reported RKLB. So let's look at that RKLB. KLB, Rocket Labs coming through on a weekly. Nice little downside push there. Again, pretty dead there uh, on that. So we'll wait to see for that. Spiders, look at this, man. What a monster move. You're going to talk about this, this one here. Uh, you're going to talk about um, a move up. Look at this. Two red weeks, and you can't even find them uh, right here. See if we can zoom in a little bit. There it is. One red week there in the SPY. Another one. And then that red week was followed by one of the bigger green weeks that we've had. So people are buying up these names here in the SPY and continue to go. For me, a really interesting name continues to be the Chinese ETFs. We had a nice push up in BABA over the last couple of days. Um, some late news on Billy Billy, but let's zoom back out a little bit here. Above the 50 period, breaking above $25 again. That would be pretty important here for FXI. A recent position in my long-term account, shout out to our friend Mateo. I know Obi knows Mateo, of course, um, in the back. And we talked about Alibaba, man. I went over to his desk. We were talking about it, and I actually put the buy order right there when I was with him because if we're not buying anything when we're on the show. So midday one day, we went in and bought this name down at 72 bucks. Since then, it's really worked out nicely. Up to 80 is what we're looking to break through on Alibaba. I really like this name. Again, another podcast name that we talked about. Why do we like Alibaba? A nice buyback, one of the largest ones there for Chinese names. Basically, in the same... Um, 
feel as AWS. Now they're talking about cloud. They obviously have the retail side with Singles Day and Alibaba there, the Amazon of China as it continues to go. Nice shirt, Ramin, as her and I are twinsies here today, but it looks a hell of a lot better on her uh, than your boy over here. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, right here, I'm going to show you this. This was funny. I kind of got in a little bit of trouble uh, from both Ramin and more, more about Fabian because they made this. What do you think about this, Obi? That is I bad. love blue chips. I like that. Did you paint that or you found a picture of blue chips? Oh, he made it blue. Forgot there's AI now. <laughs> it's Photoshop. <laughs> That's mad skill, actually, you're saying right now uh, as that. So I love blue chips. Maybe we will. Uh, we can tweet that out. I think that's a pretty cool picture there. Um, okay, whenever we are ready, um, are you ready, Obi? Is your mic ready to go? I think so, yeah. yeah. He is ready. Okay, Obi, welcome uh, to... Oh, here we go. First of all, proper introduction. No, back to me. Proper introduction. It's Trader Talk, baby. Let's go. We're going to this one over here? All right. Uh, hey, Obi. How are you? Not too bad. I just found out about 20 minutes ago that you'll be joining me tomorrow. Yes. So that should be fun. Yeah. So um, we'll have some fun tomorrow on the big show, of course. But it's your first time, right? I think you've been on this show with me before the Market Recap Show. I think I have, yes. Yeah. Okay, a big shout out to you. Um, I keep saying it you know, every day on the show. Part of it is because we're on a trading floor. The show is sponsored by Real Trading, and you are one of the prop traders with Real Trading. So we... Brief little introduction. You've been trading now a year and a half or so. Yeah, it's, uh, I think uh, this at the end of this month, which is like by the end of this week, I think this is uh, month number 18. Okay, great, yeah. great. So um, a little bit. Yeah, having little, some good success time, right yeah. now. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, and let's talk about that. So it's a good journey right now. Um, you're sitting beside Max. Yeah. So that's been really nice. How's yeah. that been? Oh, it's a blessing. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to, I, you know, I have, I have a, I have a more, more experienced trader right beside me, kind of to bounce ideas off of and kind of bump heads with. It's really insightful, and yeah, there's definitely a lot of value in that. I'm, I'm really appreciative of, uh, of Max as well. Look at this, guys. The little guy. double, the double shot here. I like this. The reason why I say that is because I feel like that's a huge advantage, Obi, when we're talking about being on a prop floor. Yeah. Is we talk about that all the time, and Dara shouts it out. She shouts you out, uh, Sharif, uh, myself, Neil, Brendo, all that, because learning from as many people as possible. Right. Definitely, like Neil could be a rebate trader or a little conservative. I'm maybe a little more aggressive. You're somewhere in between. Max is might be the other side, so on and so forth. So we all have different styles and that's what it's all about is learning. So the chat, really appreciating Obi on here and I want to thank Obi personally. Okay. Thanks so, for having me. Hey, no problem. Thank you for doing it, first of all. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do this today with you is I'm shouting you out. I'm noticing we won't talk about any numbers or anything specifically like that. You've been having some good days recently. Any charts you want to go over? Anything that you're looking at that you're comfortable about talking? Because tomorrow you're on the big show. So we're going to be talking about live trades yeah. with Obi. <laughs> but what, what's been looking at um, the last little bit? Let's go. You have some screens. Yeah, up. sure. I, I have, uh, again, Good trades, bad trades. The market, the market is is uh, it has some volatility. We saw that we saw the VIX spike up to fi uh, above 15 a couple of weeks ago. So, like I, I've been saying this, I'm just a participant yeah. in uh, in the market here, and the and the market is giving some uh, some decent opportunities for sure. But uh, yeah, no, today uh, I was uh, I was looking at Apple and definitely going to be on watch for tomorrow. Uh, I have it up here, kind of uh, here here on Trade Ideas as well as uh, as well as some um, uh, on on the different apps there good, as no well. Problem, but yeah. uh, this move just happened intraday. This was absolutely wild. Was that wild? Kind of kind of saw this happen. Shout out to Sharif. I wasn't even looking at Apple, and he goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, Apple!" I look over, and I'm like, "Oh, damn, that 180, that 180. I like Monster. that 180." There's a, the like if you look left on the chart, that 180 area has been. Been, uh, been a little bit of a, a little bit of an interesting price, and uh, it just slams into 180 insta rebid. Wasn't that ridiculous? That was absolutely How many beautiful. Rebids? It feels like there was a oh, lot of rebids there. It was there. beautiful. Okay. It was just like instantly. You just saw it from the corner of my eye. I'm like, holy! I need to be watching this right now. I have no idea what the news is. Were you involved in it at all? Yeah, I, I did. I did participate in it. Um, it could have been, definitely could have been much, much better. But uh, that's, that's, again, it's a work in progress. Like you said, it's a, it's a journey for sure. But uh, yeah, it got all the way uh, and pushed past 183. But yeah, what I wanted to point out here, um, uh, roughly, if sure, I let's is, go, uh, yeah. 
Gonna reload this page real quick. Um, yeah, take a look at this hourly chart on uh, on the Apple right here, and how does that 180 come in? This it's only one reason why I was really interested in this 180. All year, whenever price kind of comes into this 180, we've just been getting a pretty strong, even off of earnings. You know, like you test those prices, strong quadunk off of earnings does like a little bit of a double bottom here. So it is kind of it's kind of holding up on, onto this 180, and then all of a sudden you get this intraday news. You slam into it, it instant nice. rebid. Somebody's probably sitting there. I have no idea, but that, I, I really like that, uh, like that price action, and it happened to follow through. So we got a little lucky with that, uh, with the move, kind of back up into the into those 80s. So definitely going to be on watch for tomorrow. Let's see what it has in store. We know that Apple's kind of been lagging behind yep. in the whole AI game. I was say, so do you feel like now we can flip over the longs? Maybe I don't know. Okay. I, have, I have I have no idea, but like it'll definitely be on watch tomorrow because I know for a fact that a lot of other people will be thinking that as well. Might be bringing in some uh, well, volume. Ob, um, if you're on the show with me tomorrow, then yeah, we'll be trading Apple. So even here just today, maybe. just maybe. Yeah, even here today, we are in Apple a little bit here, just off that news, just like Obi mentioned. Come over to my screen quickly, uh, the Fabster, uh, right there. <laughs> Oh, not bad. Uh, there's the short right there. We waited for it to rip up. Then we actually flipped over to the long OB and took some out there at 183.20. So long there, 181.70 for two bucks or so. Nice up or buck fifty. Nice upside there. And we closed near the high of the day. I mean, that's pretty close to me uh, up there at 184. So a good little look. Um, one name that you and I actually. We went back and forth on this. I came in one day and I was like, hey, I really want a short arm. And Obi was like, I'm looking really for the long on arm. And I feel like we've really done well shorting it uh, recently into some of this pressure every single day. But it has had a lot of opportunities both ways yes. on arm. And so that's what I wanted to say is that there are many different ways um, to play a trade. And I know arm does have that float issue, not a short float, but right. just lack of shares out there. I know you must be excited for that March 12th is when we sort of extrapolated that lockout period. Yeah, definitely. I think I think that March 12th is going to be interesting, and even the buildup into it has been interesting as well. I kind of I was talking to you about it. Uh, I think last week I was like, this is a classic liquidity trap uh, in, in a sense, where you, you do like a high volume pop, mm -hmm. you fail to follow through. We saw how uh, it acted. What was it? One uh, one thirty threes, um, just uh, just uh, in and around right here uh, after after earnings there, right there. So you can't really you can't really break below some of these prices, and it just kind of continues, kind of melts up a little bit there. But anyways, I don't know. Know what I'm talking about, but it, it it definitely is not breaking down, is what I'm trying to say, and uh, that 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 to me is kind of interesting as well. And yeah, building into that March 12th price, uh, 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 sorry, that uh, um, the share release, right? They're going to be open to, uh, to to sell those shares 90% apparently. That'll definitely be interesting to see what kind of price action that. entails. but like I I don't know. Do, do they normally just like be like, okay, we got 90% of the float? They would no, they, they, no, they, no, they, you know. <laughs> no, so when you own a certain amount of that, they're going to have to like file for what, whatever they're right. going to try to sell yeah. at some point. I don't know. I'm going to look into that. That's a good question. Let's do some. Research yeah, I'm on curious that. to know like what the rules behind that are because like I I don't know. Yeah. Well, I've been doing. Yeah, I don't know either. We'll we'll find out. I'm I'm sure it's been filed. I, all you do is 180 days after the IPO or the direct listing right. when you're able to sell. Yeah. So I'm not sure exactly how much. And I don't think it would be a very good move. There has to be a strategic move here where if, they're, if they go in there and they sell, I mean, they could drive that thing down to 70, 80 bucks. There's a couple of stories. That happened in, remember there was that super rich guy in the retail side of things in India? Um, I forget his name. I think it was a cosmetic company. I'll have to look it up. It's a well-known story okay. where basically his wealth was the whole stock. And then they realized that, and the only way for him to get out was to sell everything. Right. So they were, he was like paying people off in shares. People in the chat would probably know who this is. Paying off suppliers and all that was shares, um. but then no one, no one was selling it, so it was kind of just inflating the price there, and then boom, they dropped it. Oh, uh, you're talking on. about the whole, uh, the whole Adani debacle? Is that what it is? That, but that whole thing is. that happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, was some, that was some beautiful selling. Yeah, oh, yeah. boy. So, so they'll oh, have boy. to... They'll have to hold out on that uh, with ARM coming through. Hopefully they don't do too much of that. So I've done a walk and talk thing here where we go out there, we talk a little bit about our day, we post on Instagram, it's like 30 seconds long, 30, 40 seconds long. And today, if you come over to my screen, Coinbase. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, how good today was that move up there into 210? Coinbase absolutely ripping. And what I talked about there, um, OB, was I just, again, we haven't traded Coinbase in probably a month or maybe, maybe more. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not that much. But I wrote it down here, and I wrote Coinbase WOW, and I even put it down here. What a move in there in crypto uh, that we wanted to watch 58K. I thought that was relatively high uh, watermark there. So once we came in, we kept on touching out. We had some nice moves up. We touched 57 half. We wanted to watch out for 58. If 58 kept going, then I wanted to support the long. But if we were gonna top out there, I just thought Coinbase had some nice highs. Uh, we looked into the pre-market there and we saw this 210 area. So when it was sort of made a move down, it was like, we were like, oh man, it's at 201, 202. But we sort of stayed disciplined, Obi, put out our 210, and it magically filled <laughs> in and around there. And then we wound up taking about eight or nine dollars. And as soon as we, I mean, how often does this happen to you as well? I mean, it happens to every trader where you, it's bouncing. We're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> you know, it's gonna boom, boom, boom. And then it was like, oh yeah, it's down to 197. Here we go. Oh, 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 it's going back. And then we punch out, and then womp, womp, this yeah. happens. We go to the downside. But Coinbase finishes the day in and around $200. Do you often do that where, you'll go look at a catalyst and say, hey, I don't really trade this name, but because of the news, like in a crypto or maybe like an Apple tomorrow, will you put in reasonable risk into a name that maybe you're not super familiar with? Um, so put, putting on a risk is something that I'm working on right now, but I have, been, I have started uh, kind of uh, dabbling a little bit more with tickers I'm not, I'm not normally familiar with. If they have volume, if they have a catalyst, there are cer there's a certain checklist. Like if they're doing Arvol, they have a catalyst, and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an in, in play name um, uh, by my definition, then okay. yeah, I'm more than willing to. So what to, does Arvol mean, some of the traders? Uh, re uh, relative volume. So is it, is it doing uh, just relative to what it's been doing in the past few days? Now that you can calculate it differently, you can calculate okay. for a 14 period, you can calculate for a five period, it's up to you, but uh, We're not is it doing more, more volume than normal? We're not going to let the cat out of the bag here, but are you looking for 20% more, 50% more? Is there a magical number, or you're just looking for action? No, it's got, it's got to be doing at least over one, minimum. Right, okay. Right? It's, like, well, it's, it's doing over average, right? Right, okay. And it's like, yeah. But you, 20% more, if we're talking about it, average is 10 million. Uh, Would 12 million be fine? Like, what... I think I think like a two three R vol. Like okay. if you if you have if you just throw up like an R vol scanner, some tickers will do like thousands of R vol because right. they barely do any volume. Right. And all of a sudden, it's doing two three million volume on the scanner. It'll show up as like oh, this is doing two thousand R vol. There might be something to see there because there's yeah. participants, right? It's like there's fresh participants. They could the price action is is king. It's always going to kind of. Uh, be there. What, but, what, uh, what yeah. do you make? You have a chart up of Coinbase? Yes, I do. What do you make of, look, look at this into the closer. I'm just noticing this right now. We basically had a pretty strong barcode that whole last hour, yeah. 198 into 199. That's very interesting. I'm looking at a short there, Obi. If we can, if we can watch out for Bitcoin. Yeah, what and does I guess Bitcoin it's, do? It's not doing too much. In the one hour, well, if we're going to look at it, let's look at a 15 minute here into the close. So that's probably why. So again, I think we've nailed it here on the show, Obi, where we talked about Coinbase and Bitcoin sort of seem to be tied at the hip a little bit here oh, ben. Um, with a little bit of a barcode there into the close for crypto. Um, all right. So you talked about Apple a little bit on your radar for tomorrow. Every day it's traders stay late. We're going to wrap this up. We only have two minutes. I want to thank you again for this. We're going to wrap it up. You stay late every day. What are some of the things maybe that you're doing after hours? Uh, um, just we don't have to go too crazy sure, into no, I'm, detail. I'm more than willing to, sh to share it. Okay, so like, what, what nothing, are, nothing special or anything no, crazy. No, 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 I just, I don't know. Just, it's, it's like, it's, I'm, review, I'm reviewing the day, okay. I'm taking screenshots of the charts, I'm, I'm writing a couple notes, maybe I'm getting my, getting my journal kind of ready. I was, I was journaling uh, here at the office, but I kind of start my journal and then I finish it okay. like on, on the bus home. And, uh, and that's why I need those charts, like those screenshots and everything. So I'm preparing for, for the wow, ride so home as well. you're screenshotting them and then looking at those screenshots shots on the way home yeah yeah of course yeah so because i'm continuing like i'm like continuing that. the whole journaling process i'm like this is what i did today and kind of uh reliving the you trade I'm, I'm i'm putting in reps for for the idea that i kind of did how did i do on it um you know kind of uh, blasting myself in my journal being like oh what the hell were you doing here like you can obviously be a little bigger a little less like uh just kind of you have a trade ideas account i do not i'm gonna get you one Right, thank because you. Because <laughs> that way, you know what? Trade Ideas' new web app, um, can, you can just look at all your charts right on your phone 
live, look at different times, really? all of that stuff, and it's really, really great. So there's a promo okay. for Trade Ideas, Mr. Michael Noss. We are now getting one for Obi. You can so, thank, thank me you. later. I think that that's really great, and then that way you can do all of that. Hey, I'm going to get you one of those, Obi, so you deserve that. So again, congratulations on the recent success. And I just want to... <laughs> Max? Of course. Max, great guy to sit beside. People are saying, wow, this guy gets to sit beside Max. Yeah, I'm a little jealous myself. Uh, but people there in the chat um, saying right now that it seems like you're a heck of a lot more confident now uh, than you'd been in the past. With? Just with everything. I mean, with, I, with I've the been... way you're looking at charts and everything. I think that's a good thing. Happens with time. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I don't really feel too much, a, too much of a difference, to be That's honest. Good. That's what you should But, like, I, I just think, like, uh, I don't know. The market's cyclical, right? Things change, and certain, yeah. certain opportunities, they show up and they go away, and that might bring a little bit of more confidence. But, again, I can't speak to that. I, I'm finding, again, in my journaling, I need to be more confident with some of the trades that I'm taking, right? We're talking about, like, yep. um, obviously, sizing sizing being an issue and confidence comes, uh, like, that comes with confidence and it comes with a little bit of, uh, uh, yeah, just confidence, okay. right? Yep. All right, I'm it's, it's a work in progress. Sorry about it, but you gotta sit beside me tomorrow. So we'll be doing that all day tomorrow as Neil uh, enjoys some time off with the little one and uh, he'll be back and then, tomorrow's what, Wednesday already? Yep. Anything going tonight? Taco Tuesday, baby. You a taco guy? Uh, I like tacos. Hard or soft shell? You know what? Uh, depends on the filling, but I'll go with the hard shell. All right, shell. just beef. Hard shell. Beef, normal kind of stuff. A little sprinkle some tomatoes in there, some lettuce. Oh, I'll go hard shell. I'm going to get some guacamole going and all of that. So, okay, hard <laughs> nice. shell kind of guy. I said, yeah, I said hard shell as well. Let's switch it up. I mean, my kids are always with uh, the soft. Okay, Obi. Always a pleasure, man. We'll be seeing Likewise. this guy tomorrow. There is the alarm. Look, thank you so much. I want to give a big shout out to Obi uh, for stepping up and in today. A big shout out to Bears vs. Bulls. And guess what, though? Obi, we can't be done unless we do one thing, and that is the roll call. So we will have that right now. Thank you so much, Obi, for everything today. Um, and again, thank you to Daryl. Thank you to Monty. And I want to thank everybody in the chat because those comments, uh, I mean, Obi again, yay, Obi. Everybody's loving that. So we'll see if we can get him on a little more regular. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Juan. If you're going to call me handsome, then you're definitely going to get a shout out uh, for that. It's hard sitting beside Obi, though, uh, right there. Thank you to Bbot right there. Obi, Obi, Obi. Uh, everyone, JJ, Derek Thompson, BJZ, what's up? Roll call is in the building. Hayden, Prenya, Hugh, you see your name there. You know what it's all about. The philanthropist Baker, Howell Capital Trading, Flip, and all of that. A big bang for hard tacos. It's Taco Tuesday. It's Obi. It's Sean. It's Trader TV Live. Me and this guy are here tomorrow we'll see at tomorrow. 8.30. Get lots of rest, Obi. It should be a fun one. It may be an apple a day. Does not keep this guy away. We'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.